As you've probably already seen, the um, screen on the Apple Watch isn't really big enough to support a keyboard. But there is other ways that you can accept text and other inputs from the user. Through a method called Present Text Input Controller with Suggestions. So I'm going to show you how to implement that in your watch kit app. So first I've got a button in here, I'm just going to bring that over and create a action for it. So this accepts one value, one set of values, an array of suggested texts. So if you're having a messaging app, it might come up with a suggested text like on the iOS 8 keyboard or it's basically any template text that you that your users might want to put in to your app. So I'm just going to create an array of So as you can see there's my original um, creative text. So now what you want to do is of course present that. So in my button press function I'm going to go self dot present text input controller with suggestions. So now if I just press enter, it accept, first accepts the value of those suggestions, so texts. Those are my texts. The next value is a WK text input. So if you just click enter on that, uh, key forward and press the dot button, you'll see the three options you have. You can either allow animated emojis, which if you've seen the demo video of Apple Watch is that little face thing that you can like spin around and it makes it happy. Uh, the next is allow emojis, which is not the animated emoji, just regular Unicode emojis that are on iPhone, are on everything nowadays, or plain, just accepting plain text. Um, given that none of these functions actually work, I'm just going to go allow animated emojis. The next is your completion function, which of course you can just click enter, returned, and print line there. And as you can see, you just, none of these buttons actually work. You just get your um, sample text or your suggested text. And as you can see, this just returns your, um, an array of your result. 